Today I'm going to talk about artistic photo effects in PowerPoint 2010 and show you how you can recolor your background photos to create some visual interest and contrast in your e-learning courses. Uh, back before PowerPoint 2007 and PowerPoint 2010, anytime you wanted to create effects like this, um, you actually had to do it in Photoshop or another graphic editing tool. With the addition of uh, PowerPoint 2007, you can see here on the Format tab, um, there's some recoloring options, um, which are pretty interesting, as well as uh, within PowerPoint 2010, there's now uh, these artistic effects. So I thought I'd walk through both of those and show you how I created a few styles, and uh, today we'll walk through uh, creating a pencil sketch, a cutout, blurring an image, creating a photocopy effect, and then a combination of a photocopy and recoloring to create um, some nice contrast. So the first effect that we're going to look at is the pencil sketch effect. So what you'll want to do is click on the image and that opens up the format tab. So click format, artistic effects, and then what you want to do is go to artistic effect options because that opens up um, some more of the controls. So you'll see here now I like to move this maybe off screen a little bit so I can see more of the image. Um, one of the drop downs here, I think this is it, the pencil sketch. So you'd click on that. And you'll see it allows you control both the transparency and the pressure. Um, I think it, that is a little bit uh, too bold, and I like to make the backgrounds blend in a little bit. So I might add some of the transparency. Okay, so there it is with a transparency of 40 and a pressure of 22. So the pressure would change the uh, pencil strokes, but I think that looks pretty good. You could drop some characters right in front of that. So let's go ahead and reset the image and try um, one of the other styles as well. So another one that I like to do a lot to add depth is to a blur. Blur is pretty easy. You just select blur, and what you can control there is the radius. So if I were to increase it, you see it becomes a lot blurrier, and if I decrease it, it becomes less blurry. But I think that I like it at about a 10. So that looks pretty good, nice and out of focus. So you could drop a character that would be in focus in front of that. Uh, the cutout is another one of my favorite artistic effects. So let's go ahead and go to cutout. And it gives the background kind of a cartoony feel. And uh, you can change the number of shades. So I could up increase that and it'll change the, um, the photo a little bit. And uh, you know, I actually kind of like a little bit more realism to that. So I might increase the transparency to say 25. And actually, uh, I think that looks pretty good, so I leave that at that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and look at another one. One of my favorite effects is uh, what PowerPoint calls the photocopy effect. I actually call this one line art in my style, um, but you'll see that it really simplifies the edges. And um, what I would do is actually decrease the detail um, to one, and you'll see how it really just focuses on the outline and then I would make the transparency zero. So watch what happens when I do that. You can see it makes it really just focus on the edges and then everything else becomes white. Um, I really like that effect and when you put a colored character in front of it, it looks really nice. So one of the other things you can do within PowerPoint is you can do a combination of effects. So let's say that we have this photocopy effect. Now I could colorize it. Again, clicked on the image under the Format tab. If I go to Color, I can look at the recolor options and I can just scroll through there and the photocopy works really well with the recoloring so these versions will recolor the white and this will recolor the lines so if I wanted to create some you know, drastic contrast between the background and a character I might select you know, this orange one here, or pink, whatever um, and a character again would contrast that very nicely so those are some uh, interesting ways within PowerPoint that you can actually um, stylize your backgrounds. What used to be required and uh, require a program like Photoshop or another graphic editing software, you can now do within PowerPoint 2007 and even more so in PowerPoint 2010. Hope you found that useful. Thanks.